The Justice, Development and Peace Commission of Abuja Archdiocese has commissioned briquet making machines to help mitigate the effect of climate change and environmental degradation. The project, which was a collaboration between CAFOD and JDPC, was held at Our Lady of Fatima Catholic Church, Shedda in Kwali Area Council of Abuja. City News was there. The need to protect the environment, curb deforestation, climate change, and enhance environmental regeneration in Nigeria was the reason why the Justice Development and Peace Caritas Initiative of Abuja Archdiocese is commissioning a briquette making factory at Our Lady of Fatima Parish, Shedda, in Kwali Area Council, Abuja. The Environmental Regeneration Briquette Project is not just about producing eco friendly charcoal, it is about empowering women, youth, and parishes within the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja and beyond. We aim to provide training, resources and support to enable them to actively participate in the production and marketing of briquette charcoal. This will not only improve their livelihoods but also foster a sense of ownership and pride in their contributions to the environmental conservation as we adapt to the climate change that is already in place, climate mitigation becomes highly necessary to prevent imminent food crisis that may occur if the issues of climate change is not addressed promptly. Climate change mitigation enforces action to reduce or prevent greenhouse gas emissions from human activities. Mitigation efforts include transmission to renewable energy, such like the use of biomass briquettes like the one we want to do now, enhancing energy efficiency, adopting regenerative and cultural practices and protecting, and uh, restoring forest and critical ecosystem. I congratulate Justice, Development and Peace Commission, JDPC, of the Catholic Archdiocese of Abuja for coming up with this project which will not only provide sources of livelihood to many people, but also help in climate change mitigation. The Briquette Project, which was sponsored by the Catholic Agency for Overseas Development, CAFOD, is aimed at providing safe and clean energy for cooking and discouraging the use of firewood and charcoal, which contributes to deforestation and global warming. Uh, the Justice and Peace Commission, uh, together with CAFOD, uh, came up with this uh, laudable idea and the development of this safe uh, Briquette Chacos as a sustainable alternative that offers a promising solution for a cleaner and healthier future. Just as our Holy Father, Pope Francis, emphasized in the latter to do, that a healthy ecology is as a result of interaction between human beings and the environment. And we believe that with mopping up of the waste, I will call it waste to wealth, uh, things that we would have ordinarily disposed of in the environment being brought here and being converted to a very useful briquette that we will be fulfilling one of the aspirations of our Holy Father. The briquette also has capacity to produce 2,000 um, briquette charcoal, safe charcoal daily. Uh, we can enhance this, we can make it better. But for now, we have the capacity to produce at least 2,000 Briquet charcoals, uh, carbonized charcoals daily. And the machines are also uh, very easy to maintain. They last for several years uh, with minimal uh, maintenance costs. We're also engaging women and community mobilizers. Uh, we will also come to uh, Zumutamata. We are discussing with the leadership of Zumutamata to have a structure where we can retail this wonderful product that is coming from here. So we can, we'll have the coordinators of Zimotamata um, around the eight dinaries to key into this and we'll be able to market to women around them. The deliverables, as we implement the environmental regeneration project, our, special, our expectation is that there will be 65% reduction in the use of conventional charcoal, kerosene and gas as household fuel for indigent women in FCT and beyond. This briquette, people will think that yes, it is for the poor. It is not for the poor now in the Nigeria that we are in. 
I asked myself if I use gas and other means, but now we can't afford this gas. Uh, if we look at even the Pope's message on climate change, and the church is fully in support of this climate change mitigation. So I want to encourage all of us to key into it and spread this message. The briquette charcoal, which is made from biodegradable materials such as rice husk, sawdust, dry leaves, old newspapers and other waste from the environment has the ability of providing smoke-free charcoal that don't easily burn out but serve as effective energy supply for the rural women. You made it. Yes, they made it here. Yeah. 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 One stove. One stove. One of machine break it down I'm gonna do it. So that's step by step. So, you can't buy a muscle. I don't know. Monty, look about it. One of me, I can't get out of it. I the commissioning and the facility tour of the briquette factory was the high point of the event. May this venture bring harmony, bring peace, promote safety for environment and better well-being for our households through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, the implementation of Laudato Si that has led us to this event today. So today we are here again like we did the last time. It was the tree planting. This was also to create a better environment. So we planted thousands and thousands of trees. And today it is the briquettes, the charcoal that is made specially to facilitate cooking in households. And also it limits the emission level into the environment. So uh, this is all an attempt to uh, ensure that our, especially the rural dwellers, get help and support in the midst of such harsh economic uh, hardships. Even to get the firewood is difficult. So this is going to help them a great deal. And then this will also save our environment and protect our environment. We want to appreciate CAFO to our main sponsor for supporting this project is all about what the Holy Father intends through that wonderful encyclical that we'll have to see that the society should love the earth and try to make good use of the available resources that God has given us in the most positive way. We know what energy is in our environment these days. You need energy to do a lot of things. So with this um, briquette charcoal, it will be greatly um, utilized by vulnerable families because it's going to be cheaper than the normal charcoal we see apart from the fact that it will aid in the deforestation um, to uh, mitigate against it it will also help those vulnerable households who we are going to partner with to have a livelihood through this process the global warming is basically born out of deforestation and all the activities of man that uh, tend to degrade our environment. We want uh, our people to leave the trees alone so that they can they get customized in the use of briquettes. Briquettes are gotten from all kinds of uh, waste products, the rice chaps, sawdust, um, even old newspapers and all manner of things that are compressed into this, uh, this thing. And then they are carbonized. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.